there we go. The bat signal has has flown. Has what? Is up? I don't know. All right, so I think we're doing a backfill. So we're gonna go check out mission five and six, which I think got skipped in the LP because I picked up here and we, we got pretty far in the game. But this time we're gonna do the missing the missing one. Stream won't get enough work. Yeah. Well, look, what you do at work is up to you, Retro, but I'm here to help you have an even better time. Yeah. Got a week to myself here, and so I thought I want to stream at least twice. So this is the backfill one. The missions that were not... Hmm. All right, I can, I can work with this. That, that were not recorded. Welcome, Boop. Welcome, Ald. Agent Thor may not have known the precise location of Project Starhawk, but this is a prequel to our last stream. Direction. Then we will proceed as planned. Hello. Oh, hello. You knew I was Captain, there. Is this the new pilot? Yes, a valuable addition to the squadron. Wouldn't you say? <laughs> My guy's super Indeed. rude. Marvelous work securing Agent Thorn. You've exceeded your previous statistics by. Oh, forgive me. I'm so familiar with your profile that I forgot we haven't actually met. Ooh. I'm LT-514, Imperial Intelligence. I'm eager to analyze your performance in the upcoming mission. Neat. <laughs> Shall we proceed with the briefing? All right. Did he notice you weren't looking? Uh, it was just coincidence. Hi, everybody. We should get the this guy, oh, fine. Agent That's Mr. Sirius on the side. There's a lot of Mr. Sirius, actually. We've learned that a convoy of New Republic engineers is traveling from Hosnian Prime to Project Starhawk's secret base. Ooh. Their chartered path leads them straight through the contested territory of De Severo. According to our new information, the convoy will attempt to conceal its presence in a local debris field. Follow the convoy through the wreckage and allow them to jump to hyperspace. Okay, and then we, we follow them. all possible destinations along their trajectory to find Project Starhawk. You must not be detected. We cannot risk losing this convoy. Local Imperial forces have been advised not to interfere. Once the convoy is clear of the debris, it will leave the system, pointing us toward their hidden headquarters. Once we have their jump vector, return to the Overseer and prepare for immediate redeployment. Presumably to attack. All right. We're going to spy. <sighs> okay, everybody. Hope you're ready for some... I mean, I was going to say eating your vegetables, but I mean, this is, this is hard, unboiled cabbage right here. All right, this is a Y wings Y wing. Made for utility and squadron support. <laughs> yeah. If the enemy sees one, they know they're in trouble. It, really? It's built to disable enemy fighters with ion lasers. I've also equipped jamming tech to keep you off enemy radars and tactical shields. Oh, I I can't change the loadout. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> why would you let the pilot determine that? Should uh, should let uh, Mary Poppins over there tell me how it's gonna be. All right. All right, so we have ion cannons. We do have shields. Eh? Glass half full. Captain Amos is bloodthirsty. He's baited the rebels into pointless fleet battles over De Severo. And lost several destroyers by the look of it. At least his recklessness allows us to stay hidden. Stay together and keep your distance. The convoy can't know we're tracking them. Yes, sir. Titan 3's radar jab will make it harder for the enemy to track you. Use it wisely. Okay, we're going for the debris cluster. Yeah, I got the jammy jam. Your engines. 
Oh. Sorry. Oh, sorry everybody, I was looking at other things. <laughs> Those dirty gearheads. Yeah. Let's get closer. Take cover in that debris. You're approaching too quickly. Overseer, we're in position. Hold, Titan. Patience. Remember what we learned at the Battle of Bashar. Okay. What did we learn? We strike when the moment is right. <laughs> Why wait a moment when I crashed? Good one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it gonna mess this up? Oh no, he can't be serious. Captain Amos, what is the meaning of this? GTFO, man. You're letting our enemy escape, Captain Carroll. I will not show the same mercy. Fire the missiles. We can't lose this convoy. Titan, shoot down the tormentor's missiles. That's probably something a. Uh... I feel like the support ship should not be shooting down missiles, perhaps an intercessor. That's fine. Got a little bit of lag. I have new graphics drivers. I don't know how I feel about them. This is a slow missile. It's not tra tracking me. Alright, I'm being shot. Oh man, the lag! Wait, wheel? There was plus. Sharp shooting. Captain Amos must be cursing your name. One can only hope. Oh, this thing's <laughs> this thing chugs pretty hard. I think I got it. <laughs> Keep it up, Titan 3. We need this. It's quite a few. We did pretty good. I don't. I think our our subterfuge might be ruined. I guess we go intercept them.
I actually could not. All right, I wasn't quite sure, so I gave it an extra tap. No! Captain Carroll, the transports have been disabled. Yeah, we got a couple. Excellent. I'm deploying lab Launch some tracking beatings. Yeah. It's a good idea. We'll Did we fail? Oh, we failed the bonus objective. Thanks to Captain Amos. Physically retrieving the nav data is our last chance at finding Project Starhawk. I'm on my way. Yeah, the console's steaming. Yeah, no, it's it's fine. Deploy tactical shields to protect our shuttles. Perfect. Shuttles reached. Let's move. Wow, look at that guy slamming on the brakes. X-wing's nearby. Why would you want to hurry? Well, I could disable them temporarily so my friends can watch and do nothing while they're easy pickings. Like that. Hey, there we go. Hey, great idea. So we really will shred their shields quite nicely. But I mean, that's all we got. Oh. And there's no one to say, oh no, someone is there to help me. We have two of these ships. See, I mean, I'm being hard on this this exact vessel. There we go. That's the best way of taking it out. <laughs> but I mean, you know, they gave us like, oh yeah, disable these guys. And then, okay, escort, intercept, and destroy. It's like, all right, it sounds like you want literally every other fighter. Like, you know, deep down inside. Oh. Because you shot down my missiles. Fine. Uh, yeah, I agree. I wash my hands of this, Captain Amos. Oh. And the glory shall be mine alone. I say you owe me one. You're welcome. This is good. They got a lock on me. There we go. You're protected. Up ahead. They're on to you. I'm on your side. Well. Come on! Okay, someone please kill him? Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, don't give me that. I'm just waiting for one of you to pull the trigger. Okay, this one's low enough we might be able to finish it with ions.
There we go. We got one. You do like 1% hull damage with an ion cannon. Honestly, it doesn't even help that much um, in a normal encounter. Because again, if like, let's say you're in one of these and I'm in an X-Wing or a TIE Fighter, you know, just some other dogfighting ship. You disable it. That messes up me leading the target. So it, it just, just sucks. No missiles. I have a jamming device and I have the ability to put shields on friends. There we go. That's me shielding the shuttles. He drifted out of range. That's actually just kind of funny. Surely someone else is getting him right now. Come on. I guess one thing I'll give it is with the disablement and if we do a head-to-head, -head, often I like to sort of like start shooting before I drag across, get a couple hits in. If you do that, you can actually disable them. So you don't have to fully destroy them. So there, there's maybe an advantage if you can combine it with cannons in a very specific head-to-head -head situation. You're safe. I had it under control. Good job supporting, Dave. There you go. I threw a shield onto that guy. Ooh. Wow. Enjoy the fireworks. Oh, he's prime. The overseer can handle the shuttle from here, Titan. Good work. Joining up. Cool. All right, it worked a little bit better once I could <laughs> dogfight. Once I gave up on the support role. Don't you tell me how to fly. Rebels would change a, uh, or trade a, a frigate for a Star Destroyer, even at this point. A lot of finger pointing. There's only 20,000 people on a Star Destroyer? They're pretty big. We're like a mile long. Doesn't an aircraft carrier have thousands? These are a lot bigger. Killing in cold blood, yeah. Gossiping about our co-workers. I think this is a toxic workplace.
computers probably do a lot of heavy lifting. Yeah, but they still have, like, stormtroopers for invading planets and stuff, you know? Even if you're automating a ton. Oh, 25,000 officers. Hey, everybody, it's Wyvern. Oh, yeah, you're right. I could have shot, shot my, my tactical shield, which is somehow simpler than putting those as shield generators on the other fighters. Oh, well. Let's fly a Y-Wing mission, everybody. You're right, Lyndon. My contacts verified your suspicions. It's her. <laughs> I knew it could only be true. I feel like walking in this conversation all over these attacks. would be very different. Uh, you're right, you're right Lyndon. She was only interested in my money. I'm never gonna find love. She's searching for Project Starhawk. That's why I've already taken steps to stop her. Before she can find the Nadiri dockyards. Before anyone else She'd find them. Lyndon. What have you done? Relax, Ardo. All I did was send Teresa a message. One she can't ignore. Two can dine for three ninety nine. All right. No protege of mine, Teresa Carroll, is leading. Next. No <laughs> mine, Carroll, okay, fine. He's leading the Empire's search for Project Starhawk. Wait, that's Why the next button. There we go. I sent a message that we know was intercepted by an Imperial listening post hidden near Esselus. What was the message? Bait for Teresa. And now that the Imperial Post has served its purpose, we're ready for part two. I think my Cockney accent would uh, offend real Cockneys. And then I'd be brown bread. Hide and follow that message to the letter. Vanguard, I want you to take Y-Wings with heavy ordnance to the no! and it to oblivion. A Corvette will join you to draw Imperial fire. No! We supply our bombers. Oh. <laughs> it's like a who's who of all my least favorite ships. <laughs> Destroy them all. Additionally, destroy the thermal regulation systems along the exterior trench and any dishes atop the listening post. Okay. If you pull this off, we'll rob the Empire of a valuable asset, and then Teresa will fall right into our trap. Yeah, and then we can get caught up in your petty revenge scheme. Sign me up, coach! I'll bet my life on it. Edit loadout. Heck yeah. Oh. Oh. It makes them slower, but they pack a punch against large targets and capital chips. Uh, okay. All right. We can actually change these a little bit. There's a case to be made that this would be worth it. Case to be made, this is overwhelmingly not worth it. Sure, let's add some spice. Be fun. I don't think we're actually going to be getting a lot of that, but that's silly. Okay, so you could maybe have a pretty good combination, like when we've got the countermeasures, the, the anti-missile. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I don't like that one. Yeah, all right. We've slightly edited the loadout. It's a classic rebel attack plan, hit and run with bombers with the Corvette. Yeah, I don't... I don't have a problem with the plan, per se. I have a problem with the uh, personnel assignments. With the Empire, he's dropping on New Republic comms. Do you think Teresa Carroll overheard everything? She only cares about fighting Double tap what? Oh, sure, sure, still. Better bomb this listening post into oblivion, right? For the safety of our new battleship, and for no other reason. Uh, to answer your question, Quasi, at least one. There is the Akbar Slash, which is where you fly your capital ship between two Star Destroyers or other larger ones, so that... If they miss, they hit each other, and so you 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 place your action intentionally in a in a surrounded situation so that they hit each other or have to hold their fire. So yeah, we got the Akbar Slash. Also, very good guitarist. How the boss find this place again? He sent a message. 
specifically hoping the Empire would intercept it and reveal the outpost. They took the bait. Talk about a long shot. No way he could have known that would work. Unless the message he sent seemed so enticing the Empire had no choice. <laughs> <laughs> the Pirates of the Caribbean 3 strategy. Yeah, they got it from Admiral Akbar uh, a long time ago. Well. <laughs> The seed will sprout into a, a trap, then form a chrysalis, then incubate into a conspiracy. For it lays the egg of virtue. They call that the A-Wing Slash? This one, perhaps, but it isn't the I feel like that's more of like a stab. Well, they do seem hell-bent on finding us. And Language. I cannot stand that we're building a new ship out of their old ones. There's our listening post. I'll jam Imperial sensors on approach. I love it. They'll never see us coming. Let's make them regret eavesdropping on the New Republic, huh? And just like that, we're hidden from Imperial sensors. Yep. Yeah, Han did the... Well, I think he was kind of going for something different in, in Empire Strikes Back. One sec, gotta concentrate. But yeah, the effect was kind of similar, right? Except rather than shooting each other, they were, like, crashing. He was never told the odds. Yeah, obviously he would have done things differently if he knew the odds. Wait, we're targeting the receivers first? I should have paid more attention in the briefing. I did! What? It's a raid! Alert time patrols! Nicely done! You're a natural five! I mean, the rest of the it's a lot of flying straight. Get the broadcast system running. We need to call reinforcements. Pew. Pew. I'm going as fast as this really slow thing will go. You could have put bombs in literally any other ship. Oh, was I too far? There we go. Okay. Oh, they shot it down. I was. <sighs> All right, fine. Well, I'll be turning for the next seven years. Fine, blow that one up too. Pretty fragile, all things considered. I was preparing for a lot more heavy of an assault. There we go. I can't really see where I'm supposed to be shooting, but, uh... Too bad. Oh. The uh, the targeting in this game, they they just always seem to pick fairly inconvenient ones. There's the last one. There we go. Don't want you want to be far when you drop the bombs. Uh, no. It, it doesn't make sense. 
Yes, you have to get much closer than we drop them in real life. Where dropping from high up is a virtue. I did! Now I'm to edge of station. Bro, oh, I don't- okay, I know what this is. It's a really low intensity trench run. Oh, I was already turning. Come on, man. Now I have to slow down. All right, next. So we'll get the green. And you kind of just have to trust your instruments here. Yeah, like that. Thank you. Yeah, and a real inconvenience. One sec. You can't really get a good look at uh, where you have to go. Oh, hello. We got a lot more ties inbound. I visually identified that a little slowly. Get in there and help them out, bud. Hey! Didn't even need a bomb. Next. Oh. Oh, we don't want that. It's it's Star Wars. Yep. All right, let's do it. Well, that was uh, that was the fake trench run. Now's the real trench run. Well, actually, I guess more Death Star two. You just told me to regroup at the vent. I'm taking fire. Back on five. We need you at the vent. No, we lost the core vent. Where were you, five? Literally where you told me to go. There's th why would you heckle five? There's an X wing and an A wing in the squad. When you get to the core, start dropping bombs and do not stop. Okay. Oh, all right. I heard that from all the way out here. Uh, Get moving, five. Found it. Quick, the go, go, go. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> and next time, maybe the Corvette could pull out into the uh, asteroid field. office workers. Just taking out some white collar employees. Probably signed up for the pension plan. Great work, Vanguard Squadron. Our trap is set. Come on home. It's time for the next step. All right. We're actually not going to do the next step. We're going to jump at. I'll do... So close to the end. <sighs> Debates. Ah, uh, good old Y Wing Dave. All right, we'll go back to the main menu on this one. This fills in the gap. 
This is part eight. And now, here. Next time, we pick up where we left off, which is here. And there's sort of like a, a chain of back and forth missions at this point. Because we've been like fighting at the Starhawk for a while. So we'll pick up there next time. Short stream today. Next time, we'll finish the game. I hear there's some hot Y Wing action. Stream already over? Yeah, we're going to do it. I, I just want to fill in the gap and then we'll do the real one and finish the game tomorrow at about this time.